Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie Episode 6. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskull. You know, I can't wait until you start one of these episodes and you accidentally say Donkey Kong 64. Hasn't happened yet. Alright, so uh, we're opening up a new note door today, and we've got more than enough, as you can see. A new leg of the lair has opened up. Ooh, the desert level. A couple of doors we can bust down here. What's your opinion on the, the big game hub? Like, Peach's Castle, Gruntilda's lair. What do you think? I love uh, game hubs. Me kind too. It feels like it, 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 it ties everything together. Yeah. It is the glue that holds the world in place. Now, I'm one of those guys that didn't mind the adventure fields in Sonic Adventure 1. I really like that. So, uh, this exists mainly to go down this hole here. <gasps> and because we blew off the top of Gruntilda's hat there, that's how we get this jiggy. Oh, Aha! that's cool! I forgot about that. Man, can I have my copy of Rare Replay back? You're making me want to play this. Still playing through Tui, dude! <laughs> well, hurry up! <laughs> nah, I'm messing. It, this is... Okay, when I see competence... Uh, like, competent gameplay of a game I wasn't too good at, all of a sudden I'm just like, yeah, yeah! Okay, I, I know what to do now. Let me do it. We got the boots there, and that's how we get into Gobi's Valley, which is up there. Gobi's Valley? Spoilers, dude! I don't know about Gobi yet. But it's it's uh, like over 20 years old, so I mean, come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> god, this game's gonna be almost 25. Oh <laughs> god. You, you ready for the new Banjo Kazooie game on Switch being announced this year? Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> I think this episode will come out after E3. So if I'm right, high five to me. So uh, you see the beehives here. Yeah. Bee houses. They now have bees in them. This terrified me. It's it's still kind of getting me terrified because when you break open, they chase oh after you. Oh my god! Get out of there! God, I, God, I got goosebumps. Jesus Christ. Okay, so is this where your fear of bees stems from? Part of it. Getting stung in second grade kind of did it too. Yeah, that would do it. But it's the noise, especially. It's 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 just good. But. We don't have to worry about that right now, because we are now in Free Zizi Peak. Yay! I like this stage. It's got great music. Uh, we have to leave this stage and come back, because we don't have a move for it yet. Damn it. And it's 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 complicated, because we need a, we need a move from Gobi's Valley to come back here and do it and get a jiggy here. But we can't do Gobi's Valley first because we need the move that we learned in Freeze Easy Peak in order to get everything there. So it's just it's it's just a whole bunch of mess. It's equivalent exchange, I guess. Or a soul for a soul. Here's Boggy. He's looking for his kid's uh, presents. This was the igloo earlier. Uh, it seems he has a bit of indigestion. Motherfucker ate a jiggy. Why would you eat a jiggy, you idiot? It looked like candy wrapped in golden foil. Mumbo is available here again. We need 15 tokens. Okay. What's your opinion on winter stages? I love winter stages. Uh, I do not like I do not like ice stages though. Okay. That that is a that is a fair I ideal to have, I guess. But I don't know, some about ice physics, I really like them. So we get Beak Bomb. It's basically an attack when you're flying. There's a couple of jiggies that are tied to that, and we'll get to that a little bit later. Beak Bomb, so does that turn Kazooie into like a, a drill? Are we gonna learn Drill Peck? It turns her into a torpedo, basically. Holy shit! There's a, uh... That sounds badass. There's a, there's a pad here we can use to try it out. We got a Jinjo up there. Yup! 
So, let's get things started. Oh, I see. So, first things first, we need to beak bomb these, uh, go oh, shit. That was instantaneous! Yeah, you, you gotta hit their hat, it's ridiculous. I, I never really, uh, did, killed these things, you know, playing my first time. But they're gonna give us a lot of grief throughout the stage, so we should take care of them first. Everything seems so wholesome in this stage, and then we got, like, big murder snowmen. Alright, uh, let's go after this guy! Ah! Oh, still good! So, as I also mentioned, the, the water hurts you because it's so damn cold. Okay. Nice! There's one! Oh, and you can stay in flight! That's perfect! Yeah. There's two, and there's our uh, empty honeycomb. So, is... Uh, I should mention that uh, when you kill them, they stay dead until you leave the level, or die. Okay. Now, is the reticle basically Kazooie's head? So, I I don't know. I'm trying to aim correctly, and it's it's just kind of wherever wherever Jesus. it goes. <laughs> Boy, that's crazy. Uh, There's no way no way I can get that guy down there. Nah. Wow, that's a. I really I I really could use a reticle though. That would help matters immensely. Well, just wait until Banjo Three comes out on Nintendo Switch, coming this summer. Flying's a lot better in ukulele. Well, it's also infinite. I'm just counting that as Banjo 3E. Oh, okay. But what of nuts and bolts? They tried to make Banjo 3E nuts and bolts, and it didn't really turn, didn't pan out so well. You know, looking back, because we got ukulele, I kind of look... I, I see nuts and bolts in a bit of a fonder light now. But they, they try to do something, and it, it, it just sort of works. I mean, it's... it's... it's a... I will say... Switch. Th uh, nuts and Bolts seems like such a Microsoft move. Uh, it doesn't it? But it turns out it was a rare thing. Ah, oh, that, that... that does not help. <laughs> This is okay. gonna be tough. That'll be tough to do. We need the move we need in Gobi's Valley to get that uh, jiggy, actually. Alright, uh, let's open up this box. These are. <laughs> oh, yeah! These are Twinklies! They're Christmas lights! Uh, I, I remember this! And they get eaten by Twinkly Munchers, aka snakes, I think? Yeah, and those holes are little, uh. I'm trying to do a thing where, uh, if, if, if you look away... Oh, well. I think I did it wrong. But, uh, I guess there is a glitch that, that I learned from, uh, from speedruns and tasses. If you position the camera in such a way that you can't see them, these things will never spawn. Okay. And I didn't do it right, so we gotta do it the old-fashioned way. Well, that's alright. Now you get to show me how much of a gamer you are. Do you know it? <laughs> <laughs> I love how instantaneous those guys come up as like, mmm, yum. Doesn't appear to be any kind of uh, limit as to how many can die, it's just a time limit. Yeah, that, that actually seems kind of BS, of how they're instantaneously coming back to life and then eating it. It's not too difficult, though. I mean, we, 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 we got it. It's, it's, it's all good. Banjo saved Christmas! Oh. Just a couple more steps involved. Get the notes back here. We gotta get the... We gotta hit the on switch in the back. What the hell? It's mutant ice cubes. Why? Because they hate you. Why, why, why do they have eyeballs? Why don't they have eyeballs? You're not going to pull this reverse you... psychology shit on me. I don't know if I mentioned it, but in ukulele, googly eyes are actually bad guys. Oh, as opposed to just, like, regular eyeballs? 
like there are eyeballs that hop around and they latch onto a crate or something and they become alive and try to hurt you. Oh! Oh no! And then in, and then in Ukulele in the Impossible Lair, you can actually turn on googly eyes so they appear on every uh, bad guy. <laughs> So that way they take an extra hit. Uh, oh! No, no, no thank you. So you gotta fly through this star three times. Why three? Well, it's Nintendo 3, of course. Mm -hmm. The good old Nintendo 3. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we can save Christmas. Just gotta fly through it one more time. I actually celebrate Kwanzaa, so this is uh, sacrilegious. Yay! Christmas is saved! So, no more time limit, you can get that jiggy whenever, but while we're here, we can hit these target buttons. Yeah! Uh, boop! I, I could have sworn you missed that. Let me get some distance here. I, I was hearing Banjo saying, uh-oh, and I thought that was you. He does that whenever there's a big bomb. Very nice. Two, and there is three. Wow, just... Now we got a jiggy at the bottom and at the top of the snowman. All right, let's go all the way up. Let's get to the top first. All the way up. Can't stop me up, because I'm all the way up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, damn brim. Uh, rip, I got feathers. Rip Hurry. The hat. Help. Uh, 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 help. Uh, five. Help. All right. Okay. Got it. Perfect. Now just don't fall. Just don't fall off and carefully get the notes. And slip right up. Ooh, ice physics, too. Nice. Yeah, it's a li little bit icy up here, but the jump kind of kind of takes care of things there. I don't know if you slip on Talon Trot or not. I should hope not, because Kazooie's Talons would probably be closer to, like, cleats or something like that. Yeah. And there's our first one. Congratulations. Time right, to jump uh, off. All the way down. While we're here, now, let's do a couple other things here. Oh, perilous. I, I kind of like this. Uh, for every red section of the scarf that the snowman has, there's a red feather, and for every yellow section, there's a note. Aw, that's adorable! Because it knows there's going to be a lot of flying involved, so i got to make sure there's enough red feathers to go around. It's the little small touches I enjoy in some of these old games. Get the rest of that later. There's a couple more things. There's a blue ginger on the broom over here. So where do you think that trend started? You know, giving the snowman a pipe and a broom. Uh, I don't know. You can probably trace it back to, you know, something from the 30s or something. So there's a sled there that we need to get another Jiggy, but we need to get another Jiggy first off. Inside the snowman's pipe. Oh, I thought you were about to say up his nose! No, but on his nose <gasps> is one of the presents for one of Boggy's kids. Don't blink. Please don't blink. And we can do a little jump here and boop! There's two! This is perilous. This, this place is huge. Yeah, this is a pretty big place. I like it. So hop on here. Uh-oh. And we get a free Mumbo token. That's how you do it? That's how you do it. Oh, I thought we just had to do, like, a ground pound. Oh, no. Okay. Need, need the slamming terminal velocity of a sled <laughs> going into his gut. And the whole other bear... On top of this guy! Jeez. I should mention we're only getting nine jiggies today. What? Yep. I expected a full completion run. Oh, we'll be back. No <sighs> worries. We'll be back. But that means I have to wait another week for an episode. Sorry. It was your idea to make it weekly. That is true. And that's five. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's four, sorry. Four? You're, you're giving me mixed signals here. Is it four or five? I, I lost count. Nah. Ah. Well, we can go inside the Christmas tree. 
get another one. So we got the one at the top, we got the pipe, we got the boggies, and we got the one at the bottom for killing all the, for, uh, killing the snowman. Mm -hmm. So, alright, that's four. That is four. I don't know anymore. I'm so confused. I got I got confused because the fifth one, or the, the one that we uh, didn't get yet, is the one from the Christmas tree. And then here's like 10 million more right here! I already got half the notes that we need. Holy crap, this thing goes up forever! And there we are! And now jump! You know you want to. Yes! Ow. Oh. I gotta be smart at my jumping, though. Well, I mean, you'll only go splat for, like, what, one honeycomb? There we go. <laughs> Sounded like a leaking balloon. <laughs> Lost of the Walrus does not trust bears. I mean, look at Banjo, would you trust him? Now that I know that he's a lazy good-for-nothing, hell no. This is the finish line for the two races we'll be doing here. I do remember the race. It's all coming back to me. Bits and pieces. Some of them I really liked. Some of the jiggies I did not like. Well, no worries. You got me here to get them all for you. No problem. Look, I'm starting to call that into question, seeing as how I don't know whether we have four or five jiggies. We have seven. Wait, wait, shit. no! Ah! Crisis! I should also mention that you need uh, 15 mumbo tokens, if I didn't say that already. I believe you did. Well, we need 15 mumbo tokens. How many? 20. 20? 15. No. 17, final offer. Duh, cold! Cold, cold, cold. <laughs> get in the tr get in the tree, man! Come on! Oh, Should not be this hard. The, Just get the in there. Frustrations of not being able to see your target. There we go. Uh, the, the the jump is just so that I probably can't get up there easily. Ants. Huh. Another present. Or termites. Just jump up here, and there we go. All right, we got our eighth jiggy finally. Wait, that says five. Uh, my my manager tells me there is five jiggies that we have obtained from this level. Yeah, well, I'd like to speak to your manager. I have an issue. Oh, does the C and Niskel stand for Karen? <laughs> Saren, actually. <laughs> ah. What kind of Christmas tree has termites? That's terrible. That is terrible. This is why I, I never bring a true Christmas tree home. It's always got to be those fake-o ones. Alright, where to next? Uh, I'm just trying to do as much as I can before we uh, go to Mumbo and turn into something. What do you think we're going to turn into? Um... Based on the scientific evidence, I would say probably a walrus? We'll see if you're right. I see the third present over there. Cold, 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 cold. Also, I love how the water itself had enough sentience to let Banjo know, I'm really cold. I don't know if there's a boots or not to cross the water there. Yes, there's boots over in Mumbo's place. That's nice, but... Do we have to smash these houses? I can't remember. Nah, we... The houses stay there. Okay. Just because you see houses, I mean, you can, you can smash it to pieces, alright? Look, I'm just getting flashbacks of that one time. The one time we played the Grinch for the PlayStation 1. And I'm just expecting you to ruin <laughs> Whoville. Cold, cold, cold. Alright. Oh, 15, right. 
Oh, God, I, I could have sworn I was told, like, 27. Ah! Stop! <laughs> if you can't tell, there's a Jinjo up there. Do you ever think one of the Jinjos, like, if you let him whistle 27 times or something like that, he eventually does a cat call instead of a, hey, you? That's the one we leave behind. <laughs> oh, hey, you're into me? Okay, bye. You're right, it's a walrus. Hey, a walrus, Banjo. Was, was that an insult? I think it might be. Mumbo Jumbo, please. So as a walrus, you can go in the water without freezing to death. <laughs> that almost sounded like a political statement. You know, as a walrus, <laughs> I, I think I think we should all we should all live in cohabitation. Everyone should have big my teeth. Po my political affiliation is walrus. <laughs> so you are the walrus. <laughs> my campaign statement is cuckoo kajoo. <laughs> I'm voting for walrus. a change behind one of these houses just kind of standing there like do you really need help if you're just standing there hey big boy oh, whatever okay still a couple more things you can do as a walrus what happens to kazooie in these transformations i don't want to think about it like does she become part of the walrus like is she my teeth or Again, I don't want to think about I, it. I, I, oh. Oh. And... 99. 100! Yes! So this is the first of two boggy races. The first one we do is a walrus. The second one we do is Banjo-Kazooie. But if we want to race him as Banjo-Kazooie, we need the Gobi Valley upgrade. Isn't that a... Speed upgrade, I think? Yes. Okay. On a scale... So everybody does... Everybody does wahey here, because you know, just get sledding on it. On a, what do you got? On a scale of 1 to Mario Kart 64, how rubber bandy is this? Uh, he can be a little rubber bandy, but there are things you can do to, to catch up there. Wahey! He does not have... He does not have the grace of jumping or finding shortcuts. Oh, that's good. He he does push a bit. Good lord. Yeah, li yeah a little bit. He's, he's, he's a bit of a prick. Take those tight corners. Tight corners! Oh, he's gotta get it. He just got right. it. Yeah. 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 Nice and fast. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, god. Whoa! Oh, no! Uh, I, wait, I <laughs> fucked it! I absolutely fucked it! Right at near the end! Oh no! And if he gets too far ahead of you, he'll say, Oh, come on! This ain't a race! And he gives up. So it's not like you have to wait for the whole race before he before he does that. Here's here's a way to get some some uh, extra extra distance. Jump down that hill. Oh, okay. No, oh, oh no. my god, you no! fucked it! You fucked it! It was that's, right there! That's, yep, it's fucked, it's fucked, it's all fucked. No! God damn it, right at the end. Fuck you, Boggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can start again if you want to. More like ultra disgusting, Jester. God, where was that going? Maybe I should go with disgraceful. Right. Disgraceful is a bit. Nah, I'm just kidding. Ultra disgusting jockey. Uh. <laughs> Unbelievably disgraceful jest. Or uh. <laughs> maybe we should just go J race. J race. How about uh uh uh. <laughs> Oh my god, he lost so bad to Boggy that he is unable to form words. Okay, you got it now. Oh my god! Aha! Aha! That angle is so weird. He is right on my ass, quite literally. Back off, Bogster! Oh. 
Damn it, damn it, damn it. Jump it! <laughs> go, go! You're right there! Right there! Yes! Yeah, I think jumping yes! gets you an extra distance. There we go. Oh. Especially on inclines, that's cool. Hinting that, uh, erase him as Banjo-Kazooie next time. But for now, we got our ninth, I mean, sixth <laughs> Jiggy! 27?! Take this. So because, because we're, a, we're a walrus, was a trust us. Uh, so just like that. Wow. We're seven. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. So now this cave is open. Okay. There's a ah. Jinjo up there, but we can't really get him. He just, just can't seem to grab you him. You have to come back as Baron Bird. We do, but for now, oh. we can go through here. Oh, what's in here? Walrus toothpaste. Oh, okay. An empty honeycomb and some more egg and feather and an extra life if you want it. Very nice. You you didn't get the one up. Dude, you didn't get the one up. You, you did not get the extra man. I turn off the, I turn off the console need, you, when I'm done anyway and the, I lose the extra uh, lives. There's no point. It's it, Besides, there was a scary ice creature blocking it. I, what, what do you want me to you're do? You're afraid of ice? Come on, man. I mean, yes. if, if... It, it grips me with this cold grip of fear. <laughs> now, I'm just saying, if I were to look into my cup just... of water here and it started looking back at me, you you best believe that cup of water would be flung across the room. And I see that creature, I just freeze up. <sighs> Jeez. What, not that funny? Oh, come on, that's cold, dude. I don't know. Maybe it's just my AC is still on. It's giving me chills. Maybe next episode I shouldn't have an introduction. We just start, do a cold open. <laughs> Charge! Cold, 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 cold. My cold, legs cold, are freezing. Cold. My legs are freezing. <laughs> do we have... Yeah, we have to go back into the walrus's lair, yeah? We do, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, duh, because of the last Jinjo. For some reason, I was like, you should get the extra life. No, that's not the reason. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what's left here. Hey, buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Hmm. Stop! Yeah! <laughs> Damn it. Charge! That's a missed input from me. It's me trying to do talent trap, remembering, wait a minute, this is Xbox One, not N64. I gotta take flight for a little bit because on top of Mumbo's hut is another Jinjo. A Jinjo? Yes. But we have four of them. But I think I'll uh, go into the cave first. Wait. Did I mess? Am I, am I just not paying attention, or? Or am I not paying attention? I I don't know. There is one level that has a Jinjo on top of Mumbo's hut. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I'm forgetting so many things. What, what are you talking about, Yudi? <gasps> Come on. I know what that Get is. Together. Oh, what could that possibly be? What's that be? back there? I think I know what that is. That is an, that is an ice key for the the uh, mysterious stop and swap. Yeah. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Yeah, it's an urban legend. It can't be real. No way. No, it can't be real. Why would it be no. real? It's not real. It's fake. Mm -hmm. Doesn't exist. It's fake. Fabrication. Don't listen to the comments. Don't listen to the comments. It's yeah, fake. Yeah, I mean, what, what are the comments now? 
I mean, this... Nothing, except everything I uh, missed. Exactly. I mean, this game came out, what, uh, uh, two weeks ago? Yeah. You don't know everything about this game yet, guys. How could, how could they? Not even Rare knows everything about this game. Uh, seriously, Rare, get on our level. We know everything about Banjo-Kazooie. So our last yeah. thing that we're going to get while we're the here is giving the kids their presents. That's adorable. Because their own dad won't do it. He's too busy racing and eating strange things. I'm doing it for you, kids. I need the money. Wow. Socks, <laughs> underwear, and a fruitcake. Thanks, bear. No problem, fellow bear. I thought you'd enjoy these. All right. So we'll take our leave for now. All right. Bye, Freeze Easy Peak. Go Let's go open up the next level now. <laughs> Piss off, snowman. <laughs> Deadly accuracy, my god. Yeah, he is he is a piece of shit. Where could this so opening a couple be? Couple of things to Can't really do anything there yet. I mean you, you, I I don't know it yet, but uh, you clear those webs with eggs. Oh, okay. But we'll not worry about that, we'll open this door for now. As you can see we've got more than plenty. A gaggle of notes. Got a painting over here. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's just right there? Yep. Oh. The desert level Gobi's Valley. Hooray! So, by next week, you will have started your desert level, and I will have ended mine. How, how, how quaint. It's almost like this was all planned. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> uh, it, it wasn't that planned, really. So through here is level seven, actually. Oh, a spooky chapter. All right. Yes. Okay. But that's a little bit later. And then down there... Expertly snaking my way across. Ah! Well, we'll find out. We'll find out later, I guess. <laughs> Too hot for you? I have not had enough yet. Stop laughing. It's not funny. I burn myself. It's not funny. Uh, yeah, we'll make our way down there. Why not? Is it just another jiggy? It's Brentilda. Oh. Is she really worth it, though? Just... We, we have to. Oh, that's a good point. We, 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 we have to. I wonder what's through there. But for now, revolting Brentilda's bedroom has rotting fish hanging from the ceiling. Why? Ew. Ew. Why? She also has a loogie bu ah! growing in a pot <laughs> beside her bed. Filthy old bag. Gross! And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous sweaty yellow undies. Uh, oh god, I do not need to think of her sweaty uh, snatch. Uh, god. <laughs> well, I'll leave you with that. We'll see you next time, next week, on Banjo Kazooie. Oh, god. god, I need a shower. Uh, uh, ah.